For over 90 years, Disney films have entertained and thrilled us. They've dazzled our eyes, captured our imaginations, and pulled on our heartstrings. But there's more going on in the average Disney film than most people are aware. The animators at Disney aren't afraid to sneak messages and allegories into their films. Some of your favorite scenes in Disney movies have deeper meanings than you may have realized. Here are 10 real meanings of popular Disney movie scenes. The Incinerator in Toy Story 3. Yes, it's true. We were all crying our eyes out when our toy heroes looked like they were facing their impending doom. Some people have suggested that this critically acclaimed Pixar movie is an allegory for the Holocaust. The toys are taken from their home and sent to a daycare where they're forced to work all day under the watchful eye of evil Lotso Hug and Bear. Of course, extending this metaphor would mean that the incinerator is an allegory for the ovens at Nazi concentration camps. Is it dark? You betcha. But it also teaches kids about the fragile nature of morality relations in Zootopia. The allegory in Zootopia is pretty obvious today, but with any luck, future generations of kids won't even realize there's a political message. In the animal world of the film, predators make up 10% of the population, and they are routinely harassed and abused by the prey who are the majority, and also make up the police force. When Officer Judy Hopp sees a fox and thinks that he's up to no good, it reflects our current moment in American history. Did you just boot my stroller? Nicholas Wilde, you are under arrest! Where African Americans across the country are speaking out about police brutality and an unfair criminal justice system. As such, Zootopia is a welcome call for tolerance and fairness. Well, that is high praise. Hamlet in The Lion King. We all remember the beginning of The Lion King, when Scar murders Mufasa and becomes king of the Pride Lands. But did you know that the plot was taken from William Shakespeare's Hamlet? That's right, in the classic play, Hamlet's father is murdered and his throne as the king of Denmark is usurped by his brother Claudius, leaving Hamlet to avenge his father's death. Like Hamlet, Simba must challenge his uncle and return to his rightful place at the throne. Heck, even Timon and Pumbaa are based on Shakespeare characters, Hamlet's childhood friends Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Bet you didn't know the old circle of life had so much literary pedigree. Dante's Inferno and in Frozen Speaking of literary pedigree, Disney's Frozen gets its inspiration from an unusual source. While the story is loosely based on the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Snow Queen, the scenes of Princess Elsa in her ice palace are inspired by the imagery of Satan in Dante's Inferno. While most of Dante's hell is an inferno, as the title implies, the last ring is where one finds Satan, trapped in a frozen wasteland and unable to escape. Every time Satan flaps his wings, he freezes himself further into place. Likewise, Elsa is trapped in her frozen palace, unable to leave without turning things to ice. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing Bong, Bing Bong! It's Bing Bong's death in Inside Out. We all love the character of Bing Bong in this Pixar movie. Riley's imaginary friend helps joy and sadness escape the memory dump. Ooh, Bing Bong! We did it! We... Bing Bong? But he also gets lost in the process, and then he vanishes. It's incredibly sad, but it's not just about the death of the character. The memory dump is where forgotten events from Riley's life go, meaning that once he gets stuck in the memory dump, he's not just gone, but forgotten. This is the point in Riley's life where she forgets all about her imaginary friend, but learns to grow up a little bit. <laughs> Ursula's queer design in The Little Mermaid for fans of trash cinema, The Little Mermaid contains a little easter egg for them. Ursula, the sea witch who transforms Ariel into a woman, is clearly designed after the appearance of Divine, a drag queen famous for starring in several underground films by John Waters, like Pink Flamingos and Mondo Trasho. Ironically, this influence was attacked from two sides. Conservatives thought the Disney film was straying from the studio's family values roots, while academics criticized the film for using the gender-bending character as a villain. Nevertheless, most parents and kids don't seem to mind. Squirrel! Up is preparing us for artificial intelligence. When Doug the dog meets the heroes of Up, he tells them what he thinks through a science fiction-y device on his collar. I have just met you, and I love you. Discovery Magazine writer Kyle Munkittrick thinks this is indicative of Pixar's drive to help us prepare for the future, in which we will often be forced to come to terms with artificial intelligence. You can also find this in Ratatouille and WALL-E, where human characters have to team up with intelligent non-human characters and overcome their assumptions about human superiority. With self-driving cars and talking cell phones already out there in the world, Pixar is helping us cope. The Chernabog and Fantasia. After amusing us with wonderful, charming animation for most of its running time, Disney's hallucinatory Fantasia closes with the dark and scary Night on the Bald Mountain. In this segment, the demonic Chernabog rises from his slumber and summons a variety of evil spirits and creatures to wreak havoc on the landscape. He is thwarted, however, at dawn, when a group of monks singing Ave Maria marches into the forest, beating back the shadow with their light. This is another reference to religion, as the monks are able to defeat the satanic Chernabog and his darkness with their voices and the lights on their torches. 
Kill the Beast in Beauty and the Beast Gaston's call to arms to kill the beast is pretty disturbing for a Disney movie, and it takes the form of a song filled with hatred and intolerance. As it happens, the song was coming from a very real place. It was written by Howard Ashman, who was dying of AIDS while the film was in production. Ashman used the town's intolerance for the beast to channel his own feelings about the treatment of people with AIDS in the 80s and 90s. He died before the movie was released, and Disney dedicated the film to his memory. Christ Allegory Entangled Fantasia isn't the only time Disney got religious. In fact, some Christian fans have claimed that Tangled is a straight-up allegory for a section of the gospel. This twisted take on the Rapunzel fairy tale sees the princess as a prisoner of a witch, Gothel, who has kidnapped her from her parents and raised her as her own. When Rapunzel tries to leave the tower, Gothel tempts her stay and tells her the world is full of danger, but she cannot be contained. This is an allegory for Jesus' time in the desert, 40 days and 40 nights being tempted to stray from the light by Satan. Like Jesus, Rapunzel rejects those temptations and seeks the light anyway. So what do you think of our list? Are there any more Disney scenes with deeper meanings behind them? Join the discussion in the comments below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.